All right, moving along, President Biden is sounding the climate alarm to gain favor with youth and progressive voters. The White House renewing internal talks on declaring a climate emergency. As the Biden administration restricts millions of acres on Alaska's petroleum reserve from oil and gas drilling ahead of Earth Day, activists are pushing the commander in chief for answers, saying, quote, if Biden wants to win the youth vote, he needs to take forceful action on climate change. But it would taking this action embolden our adversaries. A new Fox Nation special, Battle for the Arctic, with Bill Hemmer, explores U.S. resources that could be compromised by China. The ice cold Arctic is a strategic hotspot. It's also home to a wealth of resources oil, natural gas, an estimated $1 trillion worth of rare earth minerals. That makes this region a target for our competitors, like China. Will China come here? I think China definitely considers themselves a near Arctic nation, and what that means to them is they reserve the right to operate in this environment. They have icebreakers, they're building more. I think that the partnerships that they have up here are not clear to me. And so I'm not sure that Russia and China are on the same page on what the future of the Arctic holds. All right, I want to get to the documentary in just a minute, but at least I want to start on a potential you know, climate emergency, Joe Biden trying to curry favor with younger voters. Uh, look, there's been polling showing Trump up by 21 points with this group. Joe Biden won them by 59 percent in 2020. I mean, would this move the needle? Well, you know, if you look at it through that lens, it kind of appears that they're trying to put a lot of weight on that needle to get some movement. Look at the past couple of weeks. What has happened? Just yesterday, on Friday, uh, Biden limited new oil and gas leasing on in the Natural Petroleum Reserve, Alaska. He's talking about expanding student loan forgiveness again. He also told Bibi Netanyahu, take the win after the Iran attack. Who will these things aim to please? The younger votes, the votes, the, the base that is slowly slipping away from him. Well, I mean, David, you know, why wouldn't he do some sort of climate emergency, despite the fact that there is one? There is not one. But uh, I mean, look, Americans just kind of shut up and took it during COVID when the federal mm -hmm. government and the state expanded their powers through public health emergency. So, Especially you know. a lot of those younger people who you still see walking around, even though they're protesting and hiding their faces, in one case with masks. I see them walking around all the city out by themselves in the parks. If you have a Pavlovian type of response from a group of people, play into it politically, and that's what he's doing. Will it work? Well, it's going to cost their parents the money, those tax dollars. We're down 43 percent in our SPR right now. Biden sold it or gave it away, and now it's like more expensive to buy it back. This is just a scam. It's another sham by Joe Biden. Well, it pretty much sums up his presidency so far. But, uh, you know, Joey, I, I want to get you on this Bill Hemmer documentary, um, The Battle for the Arctic. I, I mean, energy security is national security, is it not? It is, and that's why we're so concerned about how weak we are. We literally had Congress spend billions of dollars today in, the in their justification because that was necessary for our national security. Fair enough, if that's what you're saying. The border is literally wide open. We're being invaded by China in the south. We can't afford to give up our energy independence in a way that we can't get it back. But my biggest concern is that Biden puts these things into place. I know Texas money men that are buying up solar fields left and right, not because they believe in green energy, but because they're getting so much money from it. They're getting, they're getting the land for cheap, and then they build the solar field, and then they sell it, and they get, they get a lease on the land. They get the, what they make off the subsidies for the energy. So if the people that fund our oil and gas are given up on it for the long term because of where the Biden administration is, we're in a bad spot. And that's the problem we have right now. The Biden policies have caused the financial backing to do oil exploration and, and liquid natural gas to pause or halt. And then on top of it, a bad Biden economy. If the Arctic is the next place for cheap energy and we're the last ones to get there, I mean, you know, if it was important to put a flag on the moon, maybe it's important, important to drill in the Arctic. Well, and of course, the flip First. side of all of this is he might be trying to curry favor with, you know, voters under 30, but it could kill him in states like Pennsylvania uh, with voters who actually care about energy and, and care about their, their jobs as well and fossil fuels. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.